So same thing with the Snowfall. Snowfall, like, you will not find... As of right now, there isn't a better TV show than Snowfall. Watch it now. Watch this show now. Got to give a shout out to my sister, man, because it was my sister that's... Because I'd always heard about Snowfall. Snowfall, Snowfall, Snowfall. And I was like, okay, cool, John Singleton is involved, but I just assumed that, okay, Snowfall is going to be like this, kind of, yeah, what, really cool, blah, 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 you know, yo, my, yo, yo, and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, I have no time for let's just be really cool and gangsterish, because again, I have my views on, you know, the perception of black people and stuff and how that is problematic. So I was like, Ugh. I'm not really too sure whether I'm all in for, for that, man. But, my, but, but then my sister said, no, you should watch Snowfall. I don't know, because me, my brother, my sister, we share the same kind of um, taste in terms of films and TV. I was, I was like, if my sister is in, I should, I should watch this. Maybe I, maybe I, you know, maybe it's I, you know. So I was like, okay, okay, let's, let's see. And this is an excellent show and basically this is much better than what i thought it was and just by how people were talking about it it's even better than it was i mean because you know like how you have in some shows like let's say whether it's sopranos or breaking bad there's like that's one season was like okay it's, it goes a bit slow or they're annoying characters the annoying moments i told you as good as breaking bad is i hate jesse jesse is extremely annoying sopranos superb james Gunn, gandolfini amazing acting but there's some episodes and there's some seasons that that's drag you know snowfall i tell no lie every season is better than the previous one and it gets better and better and better with each season so it's just put into short it's pretty much about how in the 80s the CIA pretty much allowed drugs to come into America, specifically into the black com community, and used their drug money to fund um, the war in Nicaragua. Because remember, this was during the times of where America were fearful of the spread of communism. So they were helping um, these people in Nicaragua, I think it's the contrast, um, in a war effort to ensure that they, they would win the war. Because again, they didn't want the spread of communism. So that just even that idea is wild and i always knew and heard about that but now just this being now done in it's in a in a storytelling format in such a good way is so is, is, is superb man but i'm gonna give it like guys you see i'll tell you a little thing a little story i remember for some time i wanted to be an actor you know but my misgivings of going into acting was Will I be able to get the kinds of roles I want as a black guy rather than just the, the stereotypical roles? And because I really take issue with black people being given stereotypical roles and playing the stereotype character. I mean, it is it is much better now than it was like five years ago or 10 years ago or so forth when I was really trying to get in, into it, you know. So, but when I look at what the Down to the Interest is doing, Niger guy there, and I just look at the character of Franklin Saints, it's like, wow, these characters don't normally get given to black people. Let's keep it a stack. These characters do not normally get given to blacks. It just doesn't happen. So the very fact that a character like this who he isn't, yo, yo, man, yo, I'm so cool, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. You know, he's not this guy, he's not this guy that's wearing swaggy chains and so forth, which is what you probably get in a lot of video games that's only see black people as a monolith. Is that this guy is smart. He's always thinking ahead. He, his, his biggest strength is his brain and his intelligence. And he just operates on a whole different kind of level. And I just think that... Because again, I don't want to give any spoilers away because I'm big on not giving spoilers. When you just look at how he was in season one and how he's now at the end of season four, it is a superb, crazy character actor he has. It's absolutely, it's absolutely superb. So just down to Idris's performance in this, the way the character is written and the way the character just trifrojects over the forces is amazing. But I think it's not only him, it's the character of Jerome, the character of Louis, the character of Leon, the um 
What's his name? Terry McDonald character who plays the CIA agent. Another a, a, a character that I really like. Um, also, um, as 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 well. I mean, they're just so many great characters. You know, even what's his name? The villain, whoever. Yeah, I've forgotten what her first, I think is it's Lucy Villanueva. There's so many really good characters in this, and it's like the basically the strength of the show is basically it has, I don't even know what the biggest strength is because the acting is amazing, the writing is amazing, the storytelling is amazing, the directing is amazing. But you know what I really like about it, and I think this is its strength, it's in the 80s. You know, and I think because it's in the 80s, this was really before gangster rap. This would really be for, you know, the uh, more uglier side of hip-hop culture and so forth really kind of plagued and stained the African-American community. So in terms of just the music, how guys operated, how guys acted, how they talked, how... It, just, it was like, ah, this just seems so much fresher than where we are right now in 2020, 2021. And again, another beautiful thing about it is that this just even reminds me of a bit like growing up in the 90s, which is no mobile phones, no smartphones, nobody just like hang like this. It's pagers, it's telephones, and it's actually having to speak, speak to people face to face. So that's just so refreshing to not have to see that those dumb ass smartphones there. So, but like, guys, I mean, because for me, like, I didn't want to rush it, I said, okay, let me just go in by in, but it's so good, it is so engaging, and you get so attached to the characters that you're like, oh my gosh, man, this is, this is um, like, 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 because you just, you want certain characters to win. You want certain characters to win, and just, it's the way in which the writers just raise the stakes. They raise the stakes. They raise the stakes. It goes higher. It goes higher. Higher pressure moments. Higher pressure moments. Higher pressure moments. That you know, it just keeps building up. It keeps building up. It keeps building up. That just makes this um, a superb show. And obviously superb show. And this is and this is the funny thing because this is similar to the wire. Now for me, the wire is. This show shows me why the wire will never be beaten because this is an amazing show. But the wire is still amazing because I just think that the wire is just the wire. I just think is operating on a whole level that I don't think anybody can reach because the wire. You see, the wire isn't a TV show. The wire is a is a documentary. It's like it's like you're reading a book. You're reading like a um, research piece, which is why it's just on an intellectual depth level. It's just on, it's just different, man. Um, but awards. You know the wire pretty much got no awards. Nothing. And you, and you look at this show, and you just look at how incredible it's been made. How beautiful, like just the directing, the writing, the acting, just the show as a whole. You would expect no, at the very least a nomination. Look through. No Golden Globe nominations, no Emmy nominations, nothing. And that's why it just goes through that you can't wait f to be validated by someone else. Let's keep it real. I don't need white people to validate me, you know. But you, but you don't need to be validated by any, anyone else or so forth. All that matters is that this thing is good. Like I remember, what's it called? The Jake Gyllenhaal. Also, as well, um, I've, I've got to the character's name. She plays um, Cece, um, the um, Frankenstein's mother, in this. Um, amazing man. Um, and also his father as well, Alton. No, just just so many good characters. But again, like you look at, I remember um, Nightcrawler with. Jake Gyllenhaal, amazing film, super, superb film, got no awards, but I'm like, who cares, all I know is that that was the best film of that year, and probably one of the best films of the decade was Nightcrawler, it was a superb film, so same thing with the Snowfall, Snowfall, like, you will not find, as of right now, there isn't a better TV show than Snowfall, right? in, 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 impossible, it is impossible for me to believe that there is a better show than Snowfall right now, because it's, 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 it's on a whole different level, it's on a whole different level. So for me, um, amazing. Like, truly amazing. I told you, Franklin Saints is my guy now. Like, that, when I just look at him, that's my guy. Like, as of right now, it's now difficult. Because for a long time, my, be my favorite TV character was um, Ghost from Power. Bro? Because I was thinking, I still, love, I still love Ghost, man, but... He might have me be... I mean, Ghost is amazing. Look, Ghost is amazing, man. But I think Franklin Saints may have him be. Franklin Saints... I mean, this is a special, special charisma. So all I have to say, guys, wherever you are right now, watch Snowfall right 
freaking now. 100%. Amazing, amazing show. Like, subscribe, one love.